Templar was very, very avidly uh, adamant about the fact that the Japanese be correct. He admired the Japanese customs and people and uh, a great man. I like him. I was very fortunate to work with him in the show, as was Glenn, who was, we were all on the contract at Columbia Studios at the time, and uh, Victoria Shaw, who played the lovely girl, uh, I think was the only one that made a previous film. She was in the Eddie Duchin story, one of Eddie's wives, and uh, neither Glenn nor I had ever done a film before. Uh, by a filmmaker of the caliber of Sam Fuller yes. as well. W what are your memories um, of, of making that? Yeah, that part is hard. The mic? To the audience? Oh, we built it. I'm oh, sorry? We built it. Okay. Um, yeah, w what, what are your kind of memories um, kind of watching, watching that film and that after uh, all these years? I, I would get very quickly watching the film. <laughs> <laughs> I get quickly watching myself in anything. And especially the very first effort, it was uh, very nerve-wracking to watch, because I think you le I've learned so much since, and, um, well, you see all the terrible errors you make and stuff like that, but uh, overall it was great fun. The director was very funny. <laughs> It also reminded me, I mean, uh, I think Jack made this point about this, this shafting as well. And who were the um, actors uh, that you admired? I mean, you looked up to uh, when, when you were growing up? When I was growing up? Yeah. A lot of people, actually. Uh, but I never thought I, I was going to become an actor anyway. My major in college was in English. And I wanted to be either be a writer or a teacher. And I must, I might still have done that course, uh, but uh, it, it was a lot very accidental, and I never intended to be this way. So, Haskell, can you talk us through the the journey you made from the early fifties to um, appearing um, in this film? Um, you were a singer, uh, as uh, mentioned. Um, how 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 did uh, you come to the attention? Of, uh, of, uh, and uh, asked if I would uh, go home, and I said, uh, I found that fun. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound so simple, and yet you're being very modest. You were um, a winner of uh, at the Ted Mac Amateur Hour, which uh, some of you uh, may remember, a kind of precursor to... It'd have to be very old to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but a kind of precursor to American Idol. Uh, which ran um, on radio in the uh, from 1930s and I think on TV from the early 50s to around 1970. Um, previous winners included people like Pat Boone, uh, Frank Sinatra was discovered through that. Yes. And, and uh, I mean, were you, were you envisaging your future um, uh, as, a, as a singer? Was I what? Um, seeing yourself as a singer in the future, was that what, um, uh, how you imagined yourself? I always intended to just be a singer. Uh, well, after initially, my uh, people were people were on stage, and uh, I think it's soft, they taught more technique than method acting, which uh, I think was more practical way to go. Could be because you didn't have to take hours or minutes to get into the mood to do a singing. You got a lot of technique to do it almost instantly. Um, of course, Jack Lord, your co-star in Walk Like a Dragon, which was shown tomorrow, um, known to many of you as Star of Hawaii Five O. Late, late on, was a, a kind of key uh, proponent of uh, of the matter. Promise not to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's shameful <laughs> um, at all. But 